I'm Nat. And I'm Megan. And for the next weekend, we will be camping in North Devon with a very special guest, my dog Winnie. She's very excitable, very hyperactive, so we'll have to see how this goes. Wish us luck. Emptied up my soul. You've heard it all before. Honest, but I know. Uh -huh. I'm gonna be excited. Left these years ago. I was young and I'm old. Still care for the void. Uh -huh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night for the sorrow. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? We did. What do we do We're gonna take Winnie for a walk because she's been a very good girl in the park. What do we do to love? I think she needs a wee. So we've just arrived in Watermouth Valley campsite in Ilfracombe in North Devon. It's quite a nice place. So we've just set up the tent behind us. Um, it just started to rain as soon as we started setting it up, which yep. was always fun. British camping for you. Yep, chucked everything in the tent and then we're going to go for a walk, explore a bit and then come back and set it all up later. Yeah. Out in the unknown, story took us toll, thought I would have grown. To become a better man Sinking in the sand oh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow Never see the end of the night filled with sorrow What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done What do we do to love? So we've just come down to Ilfracombe, it's about a 10 minute drive from our campsite and what else can you do at a seaside town and get some chips? So we're going to have some chips and enjoy the view and then go for a little wander. Might go up there. And I'm getting attacked by a dog. I wanted to be in shot. Hello Winnie. Do you feel better now? Oh wow, these are really good chips. From the nation's favourite fine fish and chips. I wouldn't say they're my favourite. Pretty good. Pretty good. They're pretty good. So we just happened to be in Ilfracombe on the exact day there's some random festival moist dancing thing. Just like some like local country fair type. Yeah, there's like some random and... stools and some um, slides and then like two groups of moist dancers who seem to be battling it out. <laughs> yeah, it's quite it's entertaining. Quite cool, yeah. yeah. She's decided to roll. Every time there's grass she does this. On the side of a big hill. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, my last name is Hocking, so yeah, we had to. Some family. <gasps> That's nice. Yours is dripping. <laughs> no. <laughs> Had a 
little walk through the centre of Ilfracombe. It's like a normal like seaside town in the UK full of like UK banners and little seaside shops selling like buckets and spades and crabbing nets. Like very stereotypical British seaside town. Quite like quaint. Quaint. Yeah. Um, it's got like loads of boutique shops and it's pretty stereotypical. Completely. Like, like exactly. Exactly. So I am currently on my own pumping up their airbed and sorting out the rest of the tent because we forgot pillows. So Megan's going to drive about half an hour to the closest Tesco. Hopefully by the time she comes back I should have everything made and hopefully have some dinner cooking. Poor Winnie's just very confused, doesn't know what's happening. He's just waiting there for Megan to come back. We're on our campsite and we have goats and sheep. Do you reckon that sheep? No, it's very fat. I reckon if we chuck Winnie in there, no one will know the difference. I was going to say, Winnie looks like a sheep. You hold the dog. Okay. I'm going to have a match. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Winnie won. <laughs> Winnie won in the end. <laughs> she caught the ball in her mouth. She, she may have bitten it. We're just gonna keep walking. But this seems like a really nice place. It's got like lots of social areas to like play games and yeah. um, got really nice facilities like toilets and showers. You can like borrow games, they've got like pool tables and like football tables. Yeah. They got like pizza night on tonight yeah. and they had homemade cakes today as well. Each room has its own little toilet, a nice waterfall shower, a little sink and bin, and obviously locks. Seems really nice. So while Nat's cooking dinner, I'll show you where we're staying. So, got a nice dorm out there. This is our tent. Come inside. Bags are down there. Got a table, which we'll probably bring outside when we eat and stuff, but it's just in there for now. With a washing up bowl to level it off. Got some storage in there. And here we have our bedroom. Those are our brand new pillows that we forgot to bring. Then we've got Winnie's bed. We'll go in there this evening. We've got no electricity, no Wi-Fi, no signal, literally nothing. Um, but it's quite nice to just switch off for the weekend. Proper camping meal. So we've just come out for a little evening walk to help digest some food. Our camp's just over there. But there's this nice little beach down here. Oh, that's so pretty. It looks quite nice. So that is the beach that we saw from up there. The sun don't look so bad at the moment. I reckon it's going to go. Okay. And your dog doesn't want to walk. Made it. When you made it. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. I think Winnie wants to go for a swim now. It's just so like natural. Like not like sand in each town. Got the different layers of what forming the cliff. He's not interested in the city. Let the long climb begin. We've got a long way to go. What do you think of the beach? 
Oh, the beach was so beautiful. I really liked it. It's like really calm and like hardly anyone's down there. The water was so blue and it's just like big like cliffs, black sands. So like naturally beautiful. And Winnie enjoyed rolling in the sand. Winnie loved the sand. <laughs> So the rain's just started again, but like we've just brushed our teeth and had a shower. Kind of rain in the sun, it's just like, it's really cosy. <laughs> Been a really nice day, I really liked exploring um, Ilfracum and going for a little walk down to the beach. I think we enjoyed it too. She's absolutely exhausted now, she's just passed out. So are we though, so <laughs> should be a really good day tomorrow, going for a nice little walk. Good so, night. Good night. Come out to Lee. We're just gonna be doing a seven, seven and a half mile walk. Almost eight miles. Oh, eight mile walk um, just around the coast and hopefully there's a cafe on the way for Megan. But it should be a good day. Yeah, it yeah. should be nice. Let's hope the weather holds off. This is where we parked our car for the day. Yeah. Oh, it's opposite the church. Just started our walk there's a slight problem with the walk we've got two like checkpoints within the first 200 meters but the next checkpoint is over three miles into the hike and the route's not very clear we're basically following a very rough map and making it up yeah you know we want to basically walk inland and then walk along the coast yeah but that's about it i'm sure we'll get lost we so always do. the seven eight mile hike might turn into like a 15 mile hike I don't think we've chosen the best footwear for this. It's a normal thing to have in your garden. Why wouldn't you have a 10 foot dodo in your garden? We're in a really nice forest, trying not to get hit with all the branches. Really nice and like luscious, there's loads of different shades of green. Seems like a really nice place and the sun come out for a bit. Feels like we're in Jurassic World. Yeah, especially with the dodo. Anyone who's ever done a walk with a dog knows that dogs normally walk about 10 times the distance the actual oh, yeah. walk's meant to be, because they just keep running up and down, up and down. That also means she's running all the mud towards us and getting us muddy and wet. <laughs> We've made it to the top of the valley. That was tiring. We're due to get to the halfway point at like quarter past two. So we would have been walking for like three hours and it's meant to be like a three and a half hour walk. But we don't even know if we're going the same way as the walk. So. Oh, we're definitely not. It's nice, it's really beautiful. The views are amazing. So we're about halfway through the walk, we've just reached the peninsula and I think that's Willacombe Beach. Peninsula. 
bit of a climb, but those really nice views. You see the lighthouse in the distance. Rest for a bit up here and then start the long climb back. So that island over there is called Lundy Island and apparently it's home to some puffins and some seals. We went all the way down here and then along here and now we're here. So we've just made it to Ball Point Lighthouse which is that thing over there and then these little things are cottages that you can rent out. I mean we've got quite a nice view so not a bad place to stay. We've just stumbled along this little beach. Well, it's like so bright and green versus blue. We should have been home like three hours ago. It was actually a really steep path, but the view is so beautiful, like it makes it all worth it. We made it! So it was meant to be a 7.7 .7 mile hike take about three and a half hours. Six hours, 20, about nine and a half miles. And it was constantly hills like that and down and up and down. We did it. It was really beautiful, 100% would recommend. So we're just gonna have a nice chilled evening. Got some Coke. Not quite the beer and poker games that most people play, but <laughs> we have Coke and Yatsi. Mm. But you can have a nice chilled evening. Yeah. Last day today. Head off tomorrow. We've just come out to make a cup of tea and watch the sunset. Really calm and tranquil. Nice way to spend our last night. Yeah. We've had a nice time here. It's been really nice. 